can you believe that in six months it's Christmas? Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you guys are new here. So every year I do a best of beauty and worst of beauty, but I do it at the end of every single year. And I thought why not spice things up and do something just a little bit different and do a best of beauty so far in 2023. And then in six months from now, almost Christmas, we do another follow up and see, are these still the best stuff? Or did I switch my mind and now that the worst stuff? I think these videos are so much fun. It's kind of a way for me to sit back, relax and talk about all the makeup that I tried so far this year and what I think is the best and what I think is the worst. You guys want to see what I think is the best? Well, then definitely keep on watching. So I'm not really sure how I did that intro. I just kind of uh, winged it, you know? <laughs> um, but yes, guys, every year I do love doing the best of beauty and the worst of beauty. And it's sitting in front of me, I have so much makeup that I tried out that some of this is the best and some of this is the worst. Now, there's a lot more makeup that I tried out so far in 2023, which is really bizarre because usually I don't try as much makeup, but somehow I ended up doing it. So just because you don't see it in the best of or the worst of doesn't mean that I hate it or love it. It just kind of falls in the in-between where I like it, but not enough to put my best, but not enough to put it in my worst either. So we're going to go ahead and jump right in. This is the best of 2023 so far. I was originally going to sit down and put the makeup on while I talk to you guys about why these are the best, but then I realized I have a lot of shit sitting right in front of me <laughs> and make a very long video. And you guys have seen me talk about these products 500 freaking times by now that you guys are pretty much, you guys already know what the best stuff is going to be. I'm pretty sure you guys can say what it is right now before me even telling you guys, but we're still going to do it. So we're going to start off with the primer. So the first primer that we have is the Milk Makeup. This is the Pore Eclipsing Mattifying Primer. I don't know if I tried this in 2023. It's somehow in here. I swear I tried it at the beginning of the year. Did I try it last year? When did I try this? It, I don't know. I don't know what's going to be in today's video because I, I, I really don't know. Um, this is phenomenal. This is phenomenal. You guys have seen me talk to you guys about this until I'm blue in the face. So I really don't have to dive too much into this. This is just really good if you have really oily skin like myself. It does nothing for the pores. I feel like nothing really does anything for the pores for me most off. Like I think the only one that generally minimizes my pores, my tart timeless smoothing filling pore primer but that's a silicone base and i'm not the biggest fan of silicone primers unless i have a silicone foundation to go on top of it but i have a water-based foundation just because i am so oily so i really love this i think it just does a really great job at containing the oil making my makeup last all day while being smoothing at the same time so i definitely have to put this in the best of 2023 so far also what really surprised me that what really surprised me is the glow recipe. This is the glow recipe strawberry BHA pore smoothing blur drops right here. When I first tried this out, I absolutely hated it. I hated it. I thought it was horrible. It didn't do anything for my pores. It didn't do anything for my makeup, but you guys were like, keep trying it out. So I did. And the only reason why I kept trying it out too is because I started a new series where I do repurchase or trash. And I talk about all the makeup, whether or not I'd repurchase it or I trash it in the month of that, of, of that month. And I kept trying this and I really ended up falling in love with this. Again, does nothing for the pores, but it does such a great job at really containing the oil and making my makeup last all day. Like these two together have been a holy grail of mine. I cannot get enough of these two together. I absolutely love it. So of course I had to put this in the best of 2023. Then surprisingly enough, I probably was never going to try this, but then you guys told me to do a full face of e.l.f. products. So I tried this out and shit. <laughs> this is great. I love this. It's such, such a great job at just gripping onto that makeup and just really trying to contain that oil. Plus niacinamide is really good if you have large pores like myself. So it has some great skincare benefits in it, but I just felt that this was so beautiful. I keep grabbing this over and over and over again. It kind of reminds me of the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer, but at a third of the cost. And it's just, it's great. It's amazing. I love it. So I definitely recommend trying that out. And then next we have the NYX. This is the Bear With Me Hydrating Jelly Primer. I don't know why I like this so much. I do. I like this so much. Like I love the way it looks like it's never used, right? It's so hard to tell on camera because this shit is clear, but it's like a bouncy. Oh, that 
<laughs> that sounds mm, <laughs> um but it's just really great i love that you can scoop it out it goes right back to its original form i felt like it's really really hydrating i wear this under my makeup whenever i'm wanting to have like a makeup no makeup day when i just kind of want to be nice and hydrated have like a nice smoothing base maybe put on just a little bit of foundation i'm just wearing around the house or just running out the door i'm not really worried about if i get oily or not because this is nothing for the oil but i just feel like it's just really smoothing on the skin it just really makes my skin nice and hydrated and if you're really oily we need to keep our skin's hydrated as possible and this does such a great job doing it i really really love that now this next primer i haven't talked about it as much because i talked a lot of shit about this primer but you know what trial and error and keep trying it out i actually really ended up liking this primer this is the one size secure the sweat primer and the first time i tried this you guys saw that my skin was peeling like crazy it was causing my foundation to peel it was gross. I ended up hating this primer and I really do like it, but I do feel like I hate the packaging because anytime I put this thing upside down, you guys see that like the tip, the product just keeps seeping out. I had to like keep it sort of like this, or if I open it, I have to immediately put it in my hands because like, it just when it comes right out, I feel like there could have been a better, better way to store this, but I just feel like this is amazing. If you have really, really oily skin, it really helps to lock in your makeup, making it last all day while trying to control the oil. I really found myself liking this. I probably put this on probably about five or six minutes before I even put on a foundation. So it's nice and dry. I haven't noticed any peeling. Um, I did notice peeling the first couple times I tried it, but then trial and error, I got up to work and now I really, really, really do enjoy this primer. I think I actually wore it the other day I, I, I met up with betty jean and Teresa's dead for a like spookala convention and i wore this and i did a great job of controlling my oil all day i really really ended up liking that so those are my top five primers that i've tried this year that i really do enjoy that i can definitely that i would definitely repurchase with my own money and buy it again and keep recommending to you guys so i'm really are enjoying those now, moving on to foundations. There's only two foundations that I really fell in love with this year. The rest I do, the rest I've tried, some I do like, and I definitely would keep wearing. Others, I'm like, eh, trash. <laughs> but these two, I find are so good. So the first one we have is the Revlon. This is the Illuminance Skin Caring Foundation. Now, this has 5% sequinely and it has hyaluronic acid in it. And it's not really meant for oily skin, but there's something about it that just looks so beautiful. Like makes my skin look so beautiful, so radiant. I think the reason why I love this so much is because it reminds me of the NARS Light Reflecting Advanced Skin Care Foundation. When I put this on, my God, is my face super shiny, but I do have to use extra products to kind of mattify it down. But surprisingly enough, it like lasts. It like lasts. It doesn't get shiny, doesn't get greasy, doesn't get disgustingly oily. Like if I do start to see that just a little bit, it just looks really dewy. I really like how this looks on the skin. It feels super it's super super lightweight I like I feel like I don't ever feel it on my face and it just lasts me all day and it's just a beautiful overall foundation that I find myself enjoying a lot and that's really surprising for me because I don't really like luminous radiant foundations because I do get so oily but I find myself really liking this and it doesn't separate either which I do really appreciate so I put that on the list and then of course the number one foundation that I have talked to you guys until I'm blue in the freaking face say it with me That's right, the Revlon Colorstay Long Wear Foundation. I am obsessed with this foundation. I literally tried this back in January. Actually, I don't know if I ever told you guys this, this story because, well, it's a sad story. But the first time I ever tried this foundation was right around the time that Jay's passed. And I wore this foundation to the vet. And I'll never forget just the way that i was extremely emotional it's a very emotional time putting you know saying goodbye to your animal it's a very emotional time when i went home that day like my foundation base surprisingly was still holding strong my mascara was a whole different issue but my foundation base was still holding really strong and i was kind of like oh because so i was still kind of trying this out not really thinking anything of it but i really wanted to give this another chance because i felt like that was not a good opportunity and a good day to give that a chance because it was at the wrong time, but I just kept trying it and I just kept falling more and more and more in love with it. And I've had so many of you guys reach out to me in my DMs, telling me guys that you guys have tried this foundation. You guys are obsessed with it. And I think it's also amazing. They do have a dry to combo. They do have a dry to normal skin version of this. So if you want a more hydrating base, they offer you that as well, as well as a combo to oily. And if you're oily, I'm telling you, this is a godsend. It's amazing, especially for a drugstore foundation. This is my go-to. I literally literally wear this every single day. I cannot get enough with this. I already bought another one. This is my second one already. Revlon knows how much I love this. I'm already like you guys can see 
already going through the product i'm telling you i cannot get enough of this this is going to be my holy grail it is my holy grail i did a whole video on this multiple times i talked about this in so many videos it's amazing you guys should really really try this and the best part is it's like 11 12 bucks so if you don't like it it's not like you're breaking the bank doing it and i just Revlon killed it with this one. Moving on to concealers. I only have three concealers sitting in front of me. So the first one we have is the Ofra Cosmetics. This is the perfect cover concealer. I love this concealer. Not only is it super brightening, but I also feel like it's really full coverage. It doesn't settle into fine lines and wrinkles under my eyes. It just does a really great job at making them full at making them last all day. Nice and bright. I really, really enjoy this concealer. I wear it all the time and I love how it comes in so many different shade range. And I just think it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful concealer. I also surprisingly really find myself loving the e.l.f. This is the Hydrating Camel Concealer. I really find myself loving this. I, I realized I love a full coverage concealer, but I also really love a very hydrating concealer. I don't know if it's because of all the, you know, mattifying products I put on my skin, but I just feel like when I put on a hydrating concealer, it just looks really beautiful underneath the eye. Like, I don't know. Is there something about it that I just... I love I really do love and I just feel like elf did such a good job with this one and I find myself using this time and time again just like the last concealer I see myself using all the time is the ColourPop. This is a pretty fresh concealer. I really do enjoy this. Just like I really do enjoy the primer and the foundation from their pretty fresh line. There's something about it that's super hydrating, but yet mattifying and just looks really beautiful on the skin all day. I really find myself gravitating back to those products and using them a lot. So I definitely want to put this in here because it's something I keep grabbing out of my drawer. Okay. So for setting powders, obviously you guys know that I'm obsessed with my Nikia Joy Cosmetics Velvet Setting Powder and my Kimchi Chic Setting Powder, but I did try three this year that I really have been enjoying. So the first one we have is the Derma Blend. This is the loose setting powder right here. I just think this is really, really good. It's so like micro fine. It is super, super light. So like it does kind of go on like a little bit white base, but then it does like kind of blend itself into your foundation, but it does kind of sometimes depending, you have to make sure you really blend it can leave a little bit of a white cast, but I just feel like this really just kind of settles into the makeup. It kind of blurs the skin while definitely mattifying it and making it last all day. This is so good. I keep, I'm still trying this out to get like a full, full impressions, but based on like the first five or six times I tried this, I've really been enjoying this. Next, we do have the Ilfer setting powder right here. Now, this is the mattifying setting powder. This is the only one I really do love because it really does help to mattify the skin. Now, it doesn't last like 10 hours like the other ones do, but this is still super good. It's super micro fine. It just blends really beautifully into the skin and just helps to really, really mattify the face. But the one setting powder that really kind of like took me by surprise was the e.l.f. This is the HD powder right here. Normally, I stay away from HD powders because I've had so many bad experiences with made me look like flashback Mary, but not this. This has been so beautiful. It just really just blends into the skin really effortlessly it just makes it look so beautiful soft blurred and while controlling the oil all day it is phenomenal i keep using the setting powder if i'm not using the other ones because i cannot help it this kind of reminds me of like the cheap version of La Mer. This is so beautiful, definitely well worth checking out. Moving on to bronzer. Now my favorite bronzer in the entire world is the Marc Jacobs Omega Bronzer. This is so, so pretty. I love this so much. I also love my Lunar Beauty Outer Dimension, Outer Dimension palette right here. Love, love, love these bronzer palettes, but these are obviously kind of big, not the easiest to travel with, but I always find myself going right back to Marc Jacobs and I think they're coming back and I hope that they come back with this product. I hope they don't touch it. The formula is amazing and it's just uh, so freaking good. But I also found myself really gravitating towards like cream bronzers this year, which is really unlike me because I am such a powder bitch because I'm so oily, but these cream bronzers really kind of caught my attention and I keep grabbing them to put on like on my my face, then I set my makeup, then I put the powder bronzer on top. There's something about these cream bronzers that I just freaking love. The first thing we have, surprisingly enough, is this Physician Formula. This is the Butter Glow Look Good Bronzer. I really, really, really like this bronzer. It just gives you such, like a soft sun-kissed glow. It's not overpowering. It just makes you look like you just stepped out in the sun. You know, you baked there for about an hour. You got your nice bronzy glow. You came back inside and you look so radiant and beautiful. This blends so beautifully with any foundation that you wear. And it's just a very beautiful product. And it's not just geared towards the face. You can literally put this on your body and have like a nice bronzy glow. I really, really found myself gravitating towards this a lot. And I really do like this bronzer. Just like the Milk Bronzer right here, this is such a nice bronzer. Now, my stuff did come in a little bit broken, like the cap kind of came off, but Milk made incredible bronzers. These creamy bronzer sticks just blend beautifully. It does kind of grip onto the foundation at first, but it blends out so nicely with a brush and a sponge. I definitely keep seeing myself using this one a lot. Then we do have the Essence Baby Got 
uh, bronze. Now, when I first talked about this, my new makeup releases, I was like, mm, no, I'm not going to get it because they only had four shades, but it was $4. I got the shade cinnamon spice and I freaking love this. I guess, you know what? The stick is dry. It's dry. It is dry, but the way that it just blends out, it doesn't dry down. Like you can just put on your face and you can blend out so easily. The brush is just super nice formula. It lasts all day. I don't have any issues with it. Beautiful color. So I keep going back to this bronzer. Same thing with the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer right here. You guys sold me on this one. I got it for the e.l.f. video and I keep using this. I just love the color. I love the blend. I hope they never change the formula. It is incredible. I keep using this one as well. I just have really fallen in love with freaking bronzers. I don't know what it is. Cream bronzers in particular. Like the So Body, first off, can we talk about the amazing smell? Fuck. <laughs> my god this just this is florida to me this is florida this is sunshine sitting at the polar beach a nice little pina colada in your hand with a nice book you can hear just the waves and the water and just just makes you want to go sit outside by the pool right now i am in love with this bronzer it smells incredible probably one of the best smelling bronzers i've ever smelled it's like a pineapple mango coconut scent infused in one i can't describe it it's divine i would love to smell like this at all time this is Florida. To me, this is Florida right here. Cap like capsulate. This is Florida captured in a freaking bronzer, but it's incredible. I highly recommend checking this out. It's so beautiful on the skin. Such amazing product. And it also works for the body as well. Now this last bronzer kind of took me by surprise because at first I hated it. I hated it. But then you guys were like, Ali, Ali, <laughs> try it again. Less is more. So I was like, you know what? Let me take y'all's advice. It is the LYS bronzing stick right here. Now, I don't have the right shade. I have the shade No Limits Harmony. I kind of have like a more medium shade. The shade that's more appropriate for me is like the shade right above it. It's like, there's like five shades. I'm somehow, I got the third shade, but I think I'm supposed to get the second or first shade. But you guys told me that a little bit of this goes a long way. This is so creamy. One swipe, one couple dots on the face, one swipe. This gives you such pigment, but in such a beautiful glowy way where it just doesn't settle into the skin. Like it doesn't like streak across the face. It blends so beautifully no matter what foundation you're wearing. It is such a stunning, stunning creamy bronzer that just like melts into the makeup. I cannot get enough of this. I will 100% repurchase this probably in the exact same shade too, because a little bit of this goes a long way. Blends really beautifully with a sponge, really burns really beautifully with a brush. I keep going back to this time and time again, because you guys told me to give another chance. I listened to y'all and oh my God, y'all did not steer me wrong. I really love it. Moving on to blushes and highlighters. So we're gonna go over the blushes first, followed by the highlighters. So for blushes, um, I again, found myself really trying out some cream blushes this year. You guys have really been getting me out of my comfort zone. And I just want to thank you guys for that because I tried these things out for you guys and you guys are getting me to fall in love with products I generally would never have really fallen in love with. So first things first, we do have the Charlotte Tilbury. This is the matte beauty blush one right here. I have the shade called pink pop. This is so beautiful. This is so light. I mean like literally so, so light, but it goes on really beautifully on the skin. It dries on rather quickly. So you kind of quickly have to pat, pat it out, but I just love the color of this. This gives me just a nice little pop of pink without being too overwhelming. And it just blends really beautifully on top of the skin. Now I do go over it with setting powder. I do kind of have to go back in with a powder blush, but this is really, really gorgeous. Very, very, very easy to work with. I keep finding myself using this. So if I want like, just a soft, you know, pinch of color. Then we do have the e.l.f. This, then we do the Ofra. This is the Cheeks and Cream All Yours. I love this color right here. It's a really beautiful color. Now this is meant for your lips and cheeks. I only use it for the cheeks because I hate products like this, but <laughs> I only use it for the cheeks. And I just love the coverage of this. I love the color of this. It just meshes very well onto the skin. This is one of those products that like looks beautiful, like on top of a cream base, but then I actually have gone back over on top of a powder base and it just like melts right in. It is so pretty and stunning. I'm like, oh, God damn. I'm like Ofra, Ofra really killed it with this. I absolutely love this blush. And then we do have the e.l.f. putty blush right here. This is in shade called Bora Bora. Again, this is very soft, just adds a pinch of color, blends seamlessly onto, blends beautifully into your makeup, kind of like it just melts right into it. And this type of color makes it so pigmented that I can literally put a setting powder on top of it. And I don't need to go back over it with a blush because this is still so pigmented on its own. 
really beautiful. And last but not least for blush, I keep using this product. I'm even wearing it today and I did go over it with the powder blush, but it is the Moret. This is the Cheeky Flush Balm right here. One, Cheeky, <laughs> hello, Cheeky thumbs up. But two, it's just a really beautiful blush. Like you just go one swipe right here or you could take your brush, you could dab right into it. And it's just a really beautiful wash of color. It settles very nicely into the skin. It just looks like it melts, it blends seamlessly. And I just really find myself gravitating towards this particular blush a lot very 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 beautiful now for highlighters i only have three highlighters sitting in front of me the first one again i was very surprised that i fell in love with this but it's the physician formula this is the butter glow liquid highlighter and the reason i fell in love with this is that it just made my face look like i was lit from within i was just glowing i was radiant it didn't look super moist didn't look super heavily high shine it just looked like i had this beautiful shine it just had this beautiful lit from within glow like i just kind of walked outside got a little bit of glistening to myself it is stunning i found myself really 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 loving this <laughs> highlighter which i didn't at first but then as like the video progressed and i just saw it kind of settling into the makeup i was like hot damn this looks really good i really found myself loving this <gasps> i forgot one more blush so back to the blushes because i did forget one blush blend bunny Blend Bunny Cosmetics. This is the Juice Palette. Now, this is their Bare Palette and the Juice Palette. I find myself gravitating a lot towards the Juice Palette right here. I can't believe I forgot this. But I love mixing the shades of Squeeze, Raw, and... Um, squeeze, Raw, and what, Mouth Watering. I dip these three shades in together. Stunning. It's a stunning combo. I freaking love this. Beautiful palette. Perfect for the summer season. And I think the one of the reasons why I also love this is that you can also use this to mix into your liquid oil, your lip oils, or you can use this eyeshadow. But this is such a beautiful, beautiful blush palette. Highly, highly recommend this palette. Okay, so up next for highlighter, we do have the ColourPop Flex Tyrian Highlight. This is just so freaking stunning. This is just stunning. It is so gorgeous. It makes your skin look super wet and moist, but my God, do I love it. I forgot how much I loved this particular highlighter when I tried it years ago, and I fell in love with it again this year when I retried it with the ColourPop, like Full Face ColourPop products. This is phenomenal. I will recommend this hands down every single day. So in love with this beautiful formula. And then last but not least, I want to try this out this year and I'm so glad we did, but we have the Dior. This is the face glow. This is the backstage face glow. This is the backstage glow face palette at the shade called Universal. I mix the shade, this shade, this shade, and this shade to get a really beautiful glow. It definitely has like glitter reflex in it. So when you're looking up close, it looks like you have glitter on your face, but it just looks so beautiful. It's so it just looks so beautiful. It just like melts into the skin. I can see why so many like big influencers are truly obsessed with this. I find myself gravitating to this so much. I just love mixing the colors together. I love the way it just looks on the foundation. It just like, no matter what color I pick, it just like blends perfectly with that foundation to give me like the perfect highlight. And it is just so freaking stunning. Okay, so up next for mascaras. There's only like, I think really three mascaras that I have been truly obsessed with this year that's new. But the first is the Essence. This is the I Heart Extreme Crazy Flying Mascara. I love this mascara. It is beautiful. One, it's waterproof, so it really does help to like lift the lashes and get your lashes to stay. But just the way that the application is, the way that it just coats the lashes, I love how like 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 tiny little bristles are like little sharp little bristles i start off with this i use this product to kind of get the base going to get my lashes lifted and then i do go in with the color pop then i do go in with the um over cosmetics this is the hd volumizing mascara beautiful mascara i love this mascara so much mine is pretty much empty at this point because i use it way too much it is just gorgeous it just like lifts the lashes lift the lashes separates the lashes and just gives them a really really beautiful coat and then to top it off i do go in with the color pop this is the level up mascara again another gorgeous mascara this is my combo if you guys go back into any of my videos you guys will see me use this combo so much at least in the description i start off like literally the way i just said it start off with this go in this and then i finish off with this just love the combo this gives me and it just lasts me all day my lashes don't droop down they don't feel heavy that's just a beautiful beautiful combo now for eyes i have tried out a lot of palettes this year so there's definitely going to be some palettes that i might missed out on but if you don't see them in this video you'll probably see them at the end of 2023 when that's gonna be more of an in-depth video but this is everything that i've tried this is everything i fell in love with so far this year in 2023 so up first we do have the blend bunny cosmetics we have the trove and 
and the Lore palette right here. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous palettes. I love Blend Bunny Cosmetics. They have some of the best formula out there. Love this little Mermaid S palette. This is perfect for the summer season. I love the colors in here. It can really get like your, your mermaid vibe going. The mattes are so pigmented. They blend so effortlessly. And then the shimmers are just so creamy and buttery. The way they just glide on the lid. <laughs> Such a beautiful, beautiful palette, which by the way, you guys actually can use code Allie to save you guys 10% off when shopping at Blend Bunny Cosmetics. And of course, they had a beautiful multi-chrome multi quad palette that went out with that. Again, this is such a gorgeous, 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 pal gorgeous palette. This is a beautiful multi-chrome. So like you literally, this is so creamy and buttery. It is a little bit more on the expensive side because these are a little bit more expensive to make, but you don't need any sort of glitter glue with this. It just lays on the eye so beautifully i have a full review if you guys want to check that out but again gorgeous gorgeous palette fantasy cosmetica right here this is the rouge palette or the rogue palette i love this palette the formula is incredible the mattes are super blendable the shimmers are just so buttery they lay down beautifully i had a lot of fun playing this palette i think it's absolutely stunning really do love this brand and again you guys can use my code to save you guys 10 percent off and shopping at fantasy cosmetica they already have like i think five palettes out right now beautiful beautiful concept and the formula is incredible on this then we do have unearthly cosmetics this is the resurgence palette with heather austin this was like one of my first time trying unearthly i tried alien cosmetics but this is very the unearthly and i just really love this resurgence palette i love the formula in this it's so creamy and buttery i love the shades that heather picked on this i actually had so much fun filming this video i felt i felt so beautiful when i did the looks and this is a palette that i'm gonna keep going back into time and time again because there's some really gorgeous shades in here that i just can't get enough in especially for halloween i'm so excited to use this for halloween because i already have some beautiful halloween looks in mine using this palette up next we have the art of two cosmetics this is the man eater tamed palette first off the packaging <laughs> The packaging is gorgeous, but then when you open the inside, this color story, y'all, I can't get over how gorgeous this color story is. It is just beautiful. I love the eye look that I created when playing with this palette. I just love the colors in here. I love how pigmented each matte was, how blendable and vibrant and creamy and buttery the shimmers were. It was incredible. This did sell out. I think they're actually still available for pre-order or this is coming back in stock soon. If you guys want to go check it out, definitely well worth it. Then we do have the Nomad Cosmetics. This is the Stone and Rock palette. This was my favorite one so far that came out this year. I just can't get over how gorgeous this palette is. Like this is definitely my color scheme. You guys know I love greens like this. It was just so earthy tone. I could definitely see myself using this every single day. And you guys, if you guys have tried Nomad, I mean, if you guys have tried Odin's Eye, you guys know Odin's Eye has amazing, amazing formula. I can't get over how amazing the formula is. And you guys can use code LED. Save you guys 10% off when shopping Odin's Eye. And let me tell you, this palette is just, my God, so good. I have used this several times now, and that says a lot. And then lastly for the palettes, we do have the Nomad Cosmetics. This is the Oka Bango Safari palette. Even though one of the palettes is pretty hard, even though one of the shadows in here was pretty hard pressed, I still love this color scheme, which is really weird for me because you guys know that I'm such a color whore. You guys know I'm such a color whore. I love color so much. But there's something about this palette that I just think it's so beautiful. I keep going back into this palette. I keep using it. It's like a beautiful earthy tone neutral palette that I just can't get enough of. And I think a big part of it has to do with the fact that it does remind me of Animal Kingdom, which is where I worked for 11 years. So I've got such a huge soft spot for this. And it's just, it's just gorgeous. And you guys can use code Allie, save you guys 10% off. But let me tell you, this is, um, so good. That's it for palettes so far. If, like I said, if I did miss anything, we will definitely, you know, talk about that again at the end of the year. This is just a six, six month. This is just what's best in beauty so far in 2023. So moving on to lips, I have tried several lips this year that I just really, really do love. And I'm so excited to talk to you guys about it. So up first, we do have the Merit right here. This is going to be the Merit like lip oil, lip gloss, like hybrid. It's like a mix of both. So it's a lip oil, lip gloss. This is super, super creamy. It's not as like hydrating and not as high shine as other like lip oils and glosses are, but there's something about this that just feels so comfortable. It's like you're wearing like a lip balm with a beautiful tint and a beautiful shine. And I keep finding myself using this nonstop. It's in my purse at all times now because I just love the color that it gives me. I have the shade called Maracooch and it's just a beautiful lip oil. Uh, it's such a beautiful like hybrid product. I've actually seen some of you guys saying that you guys have tried this product and really are enjoying it too. Plus it's clean. So if you guys like clean ingredients, you guys can find this at Sephora. Beautiful. Next, Laura Lee released a shade. Laura Lee released some lip glosses this year. This is a shade called Spark. Shoot. Spark. Shoot. 
this is the shade called sparkling iris i love this shade first off i love that the, the this is just like kind of like magnetic it's like 12 dollars for her lip glosses so well worth it and this shade called iris so stunning so beautiful i usually wear this by itself on top of a lip liner and it is just gorgeous i love the shine i love the sparkles this to me is such a beautiful beautiful lip gloss she did such a good job with this one my blend bunny cosmetics lip oils right here so this is where i store my blend bunny lip cosmetic lip oils i love that one they're twelve dollars a piece i love the beautiful colors on here they do have a nice like little like they do have a beautiful nice like fruity scent to them which is really really nice they're super high shine they're non-sticky they last you quite some time you guys can mix and match them with either the juicy palettes like the face palettes you guys wear them by himself or on top of like a liquid lip or on top of lip liner i just think they're so incredible definitely well worth it really really do love the lip oil formula on this one i just know that i have to talk about lunar beauty as well lunar beauty just relaunched their brand new lipsticks and lip liners i really do enjoy this formula i love wearing the shade called coco this is a lip liner right here called coco it's a nice little like deep chocolate brown and i love mixing it with the shade called icon right here it's like a beautiful pale nude lipstick mixing these two together and then putting the next milky gloss on it it's just so stunning gives me the perfect neutral lip absolutely love this i also love the fact that the lip liners are only 14 dollars. lipsticks are 20 they're super affordable you guys have different variations you guys have different combos you guys can do and just lunar beauty did such a good job i love them and you guys can use my code save 10 percent off next we have to talk about the cover girl this is the um so yummy glosses right here these are so good these are so good i have the shade called so physical havana good time the shade called coconuts about you um my strawberry now the so physical one that's actually in my purse right now i literally have i think five shades at this point every time i go to the store i keep buying a new shade because at the end of the day the shades they do matter like this one right here definitely gives you more of a pink undertone these two just blend really beautifully you guys can see that i use this shade like there's no tomorrow this is the shade called Havana um, Coconuts by You. This has definitely been my go-to. Like you guys see that I'm definitely using the crap out of this because I love it so much. One, they smell incredible. They definitely have like a pineapple mango scent to them. So they are very fruity. They are extremely high shine. They are incredibly comfortable. They're like $8. These are so so good these have been like my go-to like lip glosses this past year i cannot get enough of these i keep talking to you guys about them these are perfect i wear them by themselves all the time if i ever just want to have like a shiny lip without having to have any makeup on my go-to my go-to definitely well worth it you guys have got to check these out right here these are amazing 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 then we do have, I have a lot of, I have a lot of lip products. <laughs> then for lip, then for the next lip product we have is the Alme Go Wild. I am obsessed with this particular lipstick right here. You guys can see that she's getting pretty low. I already have a backup and I'm going to be buying another one soon because I don't know if Alme is still really making makeup. If you actually go to like their Instagram, they're pretty dead on their Instagram. I don't think they posted for quite some time. It's getting harder and harder to find this lipstick. I found it at Walmart and CVS is where I am finding this. I'm not really finding it at Target anymore. If I do, it's physically in store, not online. But this particular shade, Go Wild, I use the, the Jaclyn Cosmetics. I use the Bourbon Lip Liner. Bourbon Lip Liner. Then I go in with me Alme Go Wild Lipstick. And then I do top it off with another beautiful gloss. And this is the Maybelline gloss right here in the shade Crystal. Can you guys see that she's getting pretty low? She's right here. She's right here. And I'm so sad because she is literally right here. She's about to be empty. This is like a good Fenty Beauty dupe. If I've ever tried Fenty Beauty glosses, this is a perfect dupe to it. It is incredible. This has been my go-to combo for so long. I think for like the last, what, four months now. I've been talking to you guys about this particular combo. I've done shorts on this. I've shown you guys me using this combo nonstop. It's beautiful. It's affordable. And I just think that it's just a beautiful everyday lip for me. And I am just, I am so obsessed. So those are all the lip products. If I missed anything, I'm sure we'll talk about it in at the end of the year. And then lastly, for setting spray, the one that I've been using nonstop is the Milk Makeup Pore Eclipsing Mattifying Setting Spray. It's just incredible. It's incredible. So those are all the new, those are all the makeup products that I've tried this year in 2023 that I think are truly the best. Everything that I mentioned so far is everything that I would absolutely repurchase in a heartbeat. No questions asked. I think these products are amazing. A lot of it is super affordable and I just feel like these products are amazing, especially if you have really oily skin or just love playing around with different combinations with your lips and mascaras and eyeshadows. And I just, I have found myself using these products so much. It's making it harder for me to try anything else because I keep going back to these products in particular. So 
Oh, this was a long video. See, this is why I didn't do like a get ready with me at the same time because I like to ramble on if you guys can't already tell. But you guys have also seen me use these products so, so much at this point. So this should not even be surprised. I'm talking about these because I've used them so much this last year, especially doing my series repurchase of trash is making me try them more and more and more. And it's because of you guys. So yeah guys that is it for today's video let me know what you guys think about these products below is there anything that i mentioned that's on your best of so far for 2023 or is there anything i mentioned that you guys absolutely hate let me know and then stay tuned for tomorrow because i will have the worst makeup of 2023 so far and we're gonna keep trying them out throughout the year to see if maybe i change my mind maybe i will maybe i won't <laughs> but yes guys that is it for today's video guys if you guys enjoyed this video please make sure you guys give this video a cheeky thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already because i do post four to five videos every single week make sure you guys head over to my other channels are for life you guys get to see my cool wonderful ventures my amazing husband Corey. and as always the biggest thank you goes to these beautiful wonderful paid members you guys see right here thank you guys so much for everything and to my subscribers and viewers thank you guys so much for being here whether you guys like this video you guys thumbs down this video you guys subscribed you guys did not subscribe either way thank you guys so much for being here i love and appreciate each and every single one of you so with that said guys i love you and i'll see you guys in my very next video